Welcome to our newest segment called Middle School Matchup, where we find out how often I can match up with a middle schooler. Today's middle schooler, Emma Kennedy. Emma, say hello. Hello. The middle schooler joining me today is Noah Mabe. Hey. Is that it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. That was a great hello. Look at me. Great hello. I'm pretty good at hello. Top five hello I've Top ever five. seen. Top so, three. The name of the game is Would You Rather. So Emma, I have five Would You Rather scenarios. I have already written down my answers. So you know I cannot cheat. Okay. okay? And then we're just going to see how often we match up. Okay. Would you rather be able to talk to animals or speak every human language? Speak every human language. Talk to animals. What What does an animal have to say that I need to know? Lots of things. Like, name one. Well, dolphins are very smart. So I need to hear from dolphins? Yes. I will literally never encounter a dolphin in the rest of my life. Go to Hawaii then. Go to Hawaii then, he says. <laughs> I'll give you the money to go to. <laughs> this is going to be a long segment. Why? So I could have more in common with other people. Mm-hmm. And maybe you could travel all over the globe. I mean, you know every language. You knew every language. Look what I said. Every human language. Match up. That's one. Pretty matched up. More to come. Question number two. Would you rather have bananas for fingers or bananas for toes? Toes. Bananas for toes. <laughs> you. Okay, here, follow up question. How do you live with yourself? Bananas for toes. Have yeah. you ever slipped on a banana peel? It is just no. by far the funniest possible injury anyone could ever have. Exactly. People laugh is... at me all the time. I'd be but the, you're the one. I'd be laugh at the party. Yeah. With banana toes? Yeah. People would not say that's the life of the party. And you're like, who's the life of the party? And you just have to be like, the girl with the bananas through her flip flops. People, that's who, people that's would know who I am. I chose bananas for fingers. Because I think that if you had banana fingers, if science can give us banana fingers, then surely they can give us some type of glove that also holds the banana fingers in place. Well, if, if scientists can make gloves for banana fingers, why can't they make socks for banana toes? Because that doesn't fit my narrative. <laughs> what? What? If you put a banana between your toes and then tell me you're the same person on the other side of that experience, I'm ready to tell you you're a liar. And Emma, I like you, and I don't want to call you a liar, but I will. Would you rather have no elbows or no knees? And believe me, I cannot wait to hear your explanation of this one. <laughs> elbows. I would rather have no elbows. Okay. No elbows, actually. You would rather have no elbows? Yeah. Please tell me how you would take a drink with no elbows. And please demonstrate. Get a cup out of your refrigerator. Yeah. And you put it down. Yeah. And then you get the milk and pour it in. You're right. But how are you going to drink it? So you gotta get the straw, put yeah. it in the, and then you gotta act like a like a zombie type yeah. figure thing, sure. and drink, and then you know, I can learn. I okay. can learn. Hey, look, we're definitely on the same page here because yeah, I are. said you want to have the no elbows. You keep the knees so that you can enjoy a chair, so you can run. And I actually think you could yeah. load the dishwasher without elbows, but don't. We won't tell your mom I said that. Would you rather? I already know the answer to this one. Would you rather always have to sing instead of speak or dance everywhere you went? Emma, say the same thing as me because I know you will. Sing. Dance. It flat out be embarrassing if you had to go around and sing. Dance? Dance, sing? I should ask you. Singing, you get compliments. Not if you're bad. You, you get opportunities to go to great places for dancing. What if you have no rhythm? So, like my father. What if you're tone deaf? 
like your father also. <laughs> Sorry, Russell. <laughs> oh yeah, you won't party. look you won't look like a freak at all. I will not look like a freak pop locking and dropping it. People Does this look like a freak to you? Hey. That looks like 2015 to me. I mean, well, it does. That is old. You know what? You got me there. I did get you would there. Would I rather do that again, or would I rather take that move back and you never saw it and roasted me live on camera? That's the one I picked. <laughs> would you rather squirt lemon juice in your eyes or eat an entire ghost pepper? An entire ghost pepper. I'm not good on either. I mean, that's fair. Yep. That's Lemon fair. juice hurts. Um, eat whole ghost pepper, because who said you can't have a glass of milk nearby? Uh, the question did. Well, then reread the question. I want, I want did, to nowhere does it say a thing of junk. milk. Ghost pepper. Yep. That's the final answer. It's a great answer. With a ghost pepper, you can drink milk. I can't drink milk. What is it with you people and milk? I said that too. I said that too. I mean, I'm fine with spicy food. Agree to disagree. Yeah. Okay. But I did get a tomato squirt in my eye once. <laughs> you mean ketchup? No, tomato. Like the girl like squirted. Mm -hmm. But tomato juice is just ketchup. <laughs> huh? And bonus question, we ask everybody this. What is the most terrifying place in the known universe? Outer space or deep ocean? Deep ocean. Correct. My man, no elbow, high five. Deep space, deep ocean. There it is. That's absolutely the correct answer. Emma, you have been great and a fair contestant. Thank you. So thank you for being on Middle School Matchup. This has been Middle School Matchup with Emma Kennedy. That's me. My friend, Noah Mabe. Bye. <laughs> no, it was great. It was great. Say bye to that one. Bye! bye.